as you can see, you can see the watery whey now that's uh, starting to expel. So just once around, and then basically at an angle with your knife, it's the only way I know how to do it. it seems to work alright every time, and so you're trying to get about a 45 degree angle, and this will separate the cubes. Until we get all the way to the bottom. And then the other way. Okay. So what we're gonna have to do now. As you can see, there's still some really large pieces. That's with the spoon, you break those up. Now we start stirring the curds and whey. Just check. It says in the recipe to maintain this at 32 degrees. Just make sure we haven't gone below that. No, that's fine. And as you can see, there's still quite a few large lumps there. Oh, they're starting to break down now as I stir it. And they'll get a lot smaller as I just keep stirring. this for about 40 minutes now. Just to prevent it from matting. So the temperature will get up to about 33 in a minute and I'll just turn the double boiler off. So this is the most arduous part of making cheese, is the constant stirring. Now that the curds are cut, that's okay, I don't mind, it's nice and relaxing. And the finished product is definitely worth the 40 minutes of effort. So this is what it looks like after about uh, 10 minutes of stirring now. Let's see if I let it settle a little bit, there's lots of lots of whey that has been expelled. Good. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. And it's at 33 degrees. And obviously the recipe says at this stage it should be at. See you again at the end. So 40 minutes have now elapsed. So the curd is quite small and shrunk a fair bit, expelled so much whey. So that's if you can see that, but hopefully you can. That's about the size of the curd. It's probably about four mils that shrunk down to individual little pieces. And there's the smallest bits on the top, but you pull it up from the bottom and it readily tries to settle on the bottom. So that's why during the 40 minutes you must uh, continuously stir it, like I am now, uh, very gently, uh, to make sure that the curds is always moving Okay, so the recipe now says that we need to let it sit and mat for uh, five minutes. Now we drain. The reason we rested it, so. Drain the curds and whey through a colander, through some cheesecloth. Catching the way because not only do the dogs like it, the, uh, the chickens like it as well. Drain through So as you can see, 
big bowl of wine um, underneath. It's always yellow, and the curd will just drain away there. It'll take about uh, five minutes to fully drain away. So we'll leave that for another five. And so five to minutes has passed. You can see the curds have shrunk down something uh, dramatically because that's the original level just there, and that's how much they've shrunk down. Look, it's fairly solid to touch. My hands clean again, of course, with vinegar spray. Don't forget the vinegar. Okay, so what we do now is get a knife. This one's not very sharp, and we're going to be cutting this into. This is called cheddaring. Um, um, so as I said, this is called cheddaring. So we're cutting it into one-inch slabs. And make sure you don't cut your cheese cloth. What we do now is it's drained fairly well, so I'll simply this is how I think it should have been before when I first cut. How solid it should have been. Okay, and then the last time to turn it over, just grab a knife, fully we'll drain it well. As you can see, it's getting a lot thicker, a lot more waves come off, and easy to manage. Okay, so that's the final time. Now we're going to mill the curds. So we'll take this slab out, look on top. So the curds need to be in about thumbnail sized pieces. So we pull off a bit, break them up. So it's fairly firm, the cheese now. I suppose technically it is a cheese. Okay, now that I've milled the curds, you can see it's in nice, fluffy, fingernail sized pieces. What we do now is we add the salt. This recipe calls for two tablespoons of salt, which I've measured out. You simply sprinkle well over the top. And then just with your hands, just mix it all up. So it's thoroughly mixed. Try not to make a mess. That's a good part of it. Making cheese is good fun. So it's holding its shape quite well. Cheese press. So we put our one kilo mould and take it straight from here. Gather up the cheese into a ball like this and massage it until it fits into the mould. 